the object you're about to see has an interesting and amazing history. There are only 90 people working on these facilities in the United States, making between $26,000 and $60,000 a year. Many of them are there not for the money, but because it's more of a job for the soul. Humans began building these objects several thousand years ago and they are still in use today. There are approximately 700 of these sites located in the United States. And the most expensive one is located near the town of Crescent City, California. It took 10 years to build and cost $715,000. These objects can also be found in India, Japan, Great Britain, Russia, Finland, and Sweden. Once, Finland accidentally built one of these facilities on Swedish territory. Which led to the two countries entering into an agreement in the mid of 80s to change the border. According to the new treaty, the facility is now located on Finnish territory. The active construction of these facilities began in the 18th century. when the volume of transatlantic trade significantly increased. However, the very first such structure appeared much earlier.
erected on the island of Pharos near the Egyptian city of Alexandria in the 3rd century BC. And it became one of the seven wonders of the world. These objects can be found on the banknotes of several countries. such as the $10 bill of the Bahamas or the $5 bill of Bermuda. Before the Euro, 250 Netherlands guilders also featured these objects. Many thrillers have been filmed about these facilities. After all, the people who worked there often lost their minds. It seemed to be due to loneliness, but the true reason for the madness lay elsewhere. For centuries, in order to rotate the very heavy lenses with which these constructions were equipped, they were placed in liquid mercury. Its vapors had a negative effect not only on physical health, but also on psychological well-being. Nonetheless, thanks to the lenses, the light could be seen from a distance of 40 kilometers.